wow, this is a very exciting crowd. Can you all hear me? Yeah, yeah that's better. Welcome. And it's so nice to have you here for this press conference. On June 10th, Price Fighting comes back to Guadalajara, and we're going to be at Code Alcalde. It's going to be a fantastic evening of boxing. And you know, Mexico, of all countries, lives and dies with boxing. And we have outstanding talent that is going to be doing a great job showcasing their talent. And this June 10th event is going to be brought to you by Matchroom, by Canelo Alvarez, and Clase y Talento. So thank you very much for joining us. This is the press conference, and we have great talent. We have Anthony Herrera, we have Aaron Aponte, we have Jesus Martinez, and of course, a newcomer, Fabian Gonzalez Murillo, who's uh, a local, and he's gonna show us exactly what Guadalajara is made for. No se raja, right? All right. So let's start with our first fight, Anthony Herrera. It's a six-rounder, and you're going to be facing Kenyan Valenzuela from Ensenada, Baja California. It's so great to have you here. How does it feel to be fighting here in Guadalajara? Well, um, I've, I'm just very happy to uh, fight right here in Guadalajara. You know, this is where my family's from, and um, I'm, I'm just very excited. Tapatio, uh, through and through. Yeah, yeah quiero decir, uh, estoy muy contento a pelear aquí en Guadalajara, uh, donde nació mi papá, mi, mi abuela, y voy a doble celebrar porque el día de mi pelea, porque es el cumpleaños de mi abuela. Y uh, me siento muy, muy fuerte y vamos a ganar. Y venía a impresionar las tapatías de Guadalajara y voy a comer unas tortas ahogadas después de la pelea y a uh, disfrutar en Guadalajara. There you go. Can we say that in English? Oh, uh, well, you know, I just, uh, I'm just happy to fight right here in Guadalajara where uh, my, my, my dad's part of the family is from. My grandma was born here. My dad was born here. And, um, you know, I'm going to celebrate a victory on Friday and, and my grandma's birthday because it's her birthday, the day that I fight. And, um, you know, I just came to impress, you know, the tapatillas from Guadalajara, and just, um, I just came here to enjoy, you know, good food, see some family that uh, I want to connect with. I haven't seen, I've never met, you know, so I'm, I'm real excited for that. Pressure, is there pressure? Because um, Superman comes in with 2-0 and and two knockouts, uh, undefeated right now. Is there any pressure? You're gonna be fighting before your family. There's no pressure, it's just another day on the job, you know? I'm just gonna do what I gotta do. Every, my training camp's done. It's just the only thing I got to do now is just shine in the ring. All righty then. We look forward to that. And a local grown in Florida, Mr. Aaron Aponte. Yes, ma'am. You know, you've come up through the Olympic ranks. You come in and you're going to be facing uh, Leon Martinez. But right now you're 5-0 and with two knockouts. That's pretty impressive in a short professional career. Now you're going to be fighting in a country that really respects their heroes. How does that feel? It feels great. First of all, I want to thank Matt Truman and Eddie Hearns, my manager, Peter Kahn, my trainers, you know, for getting me in the shape, best shape of my life. Um, you know, it feels great to showcase my talent on such a great platform, and, you know, I'm happy to be here. And we know that you were part of the Argentinian Olympic team. How did that experience help you and prepare you for this type of experience? It was great. It got me used to uh, traveling around the world, you know, fighting different competition, different countries, and it was just a great experience overall. You can, you can actually show off your Spanish. You can say that again. <laughs> Put you on a spot, did uh, I? I don't know about Spanish. I don't know about oh, but you did so good in Argentina. We're so proud of you, and we're very <laughs> excited you. to have you here. And let's continue on to Panterita, Jesus Martinez. This is your pro debut, this is huge. And you're under the management of Darren Barker and Joe Calzaghe, those are some heavy names. How does it feel, you're only 17, you're having your pro debut here in Guadalajara. That's, those are really good supportive forces right behind you. Yes, it's, uh, it's really a dream come true. Um, First off, I want to thank God. I want to thank my managers, Darren Barker, Joe Kazaki. I want to thank uh, RGBA, Robert Garcia, my family, everybody who supports me. And yeah, it's it's really a dream come true. Um, I've I've been doing this since I was uh, six years old, and I, I just can't wait to put on the show and show the world all my skills and what I'm about. You're only 17. You have basically your life before you, and starting so young. How important is it to have your father in your corner? No, my, my father is my everything to me. Uh, he, 
he is the reason why I talk the way I talk, I behave the way I behave, I, my attitude, everything, the, my boxing skills, everything. And I gave uh, so much credit to him. So we have Superman, we have the Alien King, and we have Panterita. Why Panterita? Panterita, it wasn't originally from, uh, from boxing. I actually, before boxing, I was in soccer. And uh, I, I got that nickname from this guy on the sidelines. He said I was fast and everything. And he just started calling me Panterita. And from there, it just stuck on, even through boxing. So is that something we're looking forward to in your debut, speed? Speed, speed, power, uh, footwork. Everything, athleticism, everything. There you go. There we have it. We look forward to that. Thanks. And we have local talent, Fabian Gonzalez Murillo, nine and three, with two knockouts. And um, he comes with us for us with Clásico y Talento, Clase y Talento, uh, a very important night fighting here in Guadalajara before your people. Tell me what it means to be looked at and looked after by somebody like Eddie Reynoso. Eh, sos 9-3 con, con dos knockouts, estás con clase y talento y es muy importante para, para vos estar peleando en Guadalajara. ¿Qué significa para, para, para vos estar peleando acá y estar con, con los nombres como Eddie Reynoso y, y toda esa gente? ¿Qué tal? Buenas tardes. Implica mucha responsabilidad, implica trabajo duro y dedicación, pero me siento emocionado y, y me siento listo. Um, first of all, good afternoon. Lots of responsibility comes with this, um, but you know, with hard work and dedication, he's he's hoping to show um, what he can do. This is a six-round bout at Superfly, and you're facing a, another local talent, Jorge Ignacio Villalobos. Would this mean this is more like a regional situation? Do you just want to establish your name as the one guy in Guadalajara to be looked at? Es una pelea de seis asaltos, es en Super, Super Mosca. Estás peleando contra otro, peleador, otro boxeador local, Villalobos. Eh, es algo, una situación regional que, que quieres establecer tu nombre como el número uno en Guadalajara. Mm, más bien, yo creo que me gusta representar, me gusta representar mi país. Y más que nada, quiero dejar como un legado en el boxeo que todos los boxeadores quieren ser como los mexicanos y mi boxeo es como los como los pues, estilo negro mexicano le llamo yo a mi estilo porque me gusta boxear como todos como Floyd Mayweather eh, Shakur con todo ese tipo de boxeadores más bien es como que el legado que quiero dejar el estilo negro mexicano so he wants to represent his country and more than anything leave a legacy in Mexican boxing um, you know, all, all boxers want to be like Mexican boxers, and his, his boxing isn't necessarily the typical Mexican style. He wants to fight more like Floyd Mayweather, Shakur Stevenson, and he wants to show that style and show that Mexican style as well. Those are some serious names. Legacy is all over those names. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Ah, look at you. You want to say something to your people? Dale. What do you want to say to the people that are going to be watching on June 10th? Thank you so much. <laughs> Great. Thank you, gentlemen. I do look forward to watching you guys live on The Zone. We were all, we were all very excited to have you. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Good. you. Next up, six rounds, super featherweight, Alexis Molina, 9-0, and one six knockouts from Guadalajara, Mexico, and Jonathan Lopez from Orlando by way of Bayamón, Puerto Rico. This is another one of those great rivalries, Mexico, Puerto Rico. Can't wait. A lot of history in this rivalry. And I'm going to start with you, Jonathan. 8-0-1, four knockouts, representing Bayamón, Puerto Rico. A lot of talent coming from that island. Uh, and now you're basically on enemy territory. You're coming into Mexico to represent. What does that mean to you? Bueno, por, uh, primero yo quiero decir gracias a todo que estás aquí y gracias a Dios por este momento. Uh, thank you to all the promotions as well, Matchroom and Canelo uh, promotion as well. Um, I feel great. I feel great for this moment. Um, I'm actually 6-0 with three knockouts. Oh, okay. And, um, <laughs> and it's nothing new to me. I already fought in Mexico before uh, four times, and this is nothing new. I'm ready to showcase my skills in June 10. You're now going worldwide, though. Sí. That brings a little bit of clout. 
now you're really going to showcase your skills. But when we talk about Puerto Rican skills, you're living up to huge names. Let's start with the most recent, Miguel Cotto, Tito Trinidad. We go all the way back to Chegui Torres. How much weight does that carry? Um, no mucho, porque cuando yo entro the ring, I'm, in, I'm comfortable. You know, I, I'm myself, I be myself, and I do what I always do, and I have fun in the ring. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Alexis Molina, representando Guadalajara, la Perla Tapatía, representing the Pearl, the Tapatía Pearl. Let's talk about what it means to be here under Matchroom, Canelo Álvarez, and obviously Clase Talento. A lot of history also in boxing, and obviously one of the best pound per pound representing you. How does that feel? Hola, primero. Um, Hablanos un poco de estar aquí con Matchroom, con, con el grupo de Canelo, con Clase y Talento, eh, la historia del boxeo que está representando acá. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa para ti? Para mí es una gran oportunidad de estar aquí representando a Guadalajara, a la Perla Tapatía, más que nada a mi barrio, Lomas del Paraíso. Y yo sé que es una empresa muy grande y es una gran responsabilidad, por eso venimos haciendo un gran trabajo desde el gimnasio para demostrar de lo que estamos hecho. It's a huge opportunity to be here to represent Guadalajara and specifically his neighborhood. Um, you know, it's, it's a huge promotion and a huge responsibility and that's why they've been working hard in the gym to show what he's made of. You know, often we talk about the Mexican style of boxing. There's many versions of that. We go from Canelo all the way back to Juan Manuel Barque, Salvador Sanchez, the list goes on. How would you consider your Mexican style of boxing? Frecuentemente hablamos del estilo mexicano de pelear, pero hay muchas, muchas versiones de ese estilo. Canelo, de Canelo, a, a Márquez, a Salvador Sánchez. ¿Cómo describirías a tu estilo en boxeo? Uh, pues mi estilo es un poco fuerte, contragolpeador. Yo creo que sería como... Juan Manuel Márquez más bien, porque él era un muchacho fuerte y que no rajaba, y yo tampoco me sé rajar. <laughs> he says that his style is a strong style, a counter-punching style. He would think that it was most similar to Márquez because he was strong um, and he wouldn't give in, he wouldn't, he wouldn't pull back. So we're looking forward to a lot of action. This is going to be non-stop action, six rounds, super featherweight. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank Muchas you. gracias. Nos vemos mañana al pesaje. Nos vemos mañana. Vale. Gracias. Gracias. Gracias de todo. And for more excitement, we have in the super middleweight, Diego Pacheco, 14 and 0 with 11 knockouts, and defending her title, WBA World Women's Super Bantam title, Mayalin Rivas, who comes all the way from Venezuela. Uh, it's, it's one of those great moments where we are enjoying outstanding talent, where the pool is deep and wide across the board. I'm going to start with you, Diego. Coming from LA, you're very well acquainted with the Mexican pool of talent. But at 168, we're starting to make history, uh, starting with Surdo Ramirez. What does that mean to you? Um, damn. Uh, it's, a, it's a great feeling, you know, um, following the, the footsteps of a lot of champions who've um, paved the way, you know. Um, I feel like in, 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 the, in the close years, um, it's been a lot more taller Mexican fighters in the higher divisions, and um, for me to be one of those who's coming up, um, it's a great feeling, and I'm excited for the future, you know. The, there's a lot of great fights to be made in the, in the division, and, and I'm excited and, um, and uh, look forward to all of that. And this is as stressed or anxious as you get. This is as good as it gets for you. you the, all the excitement is left for the ring, and the proof of that is, I remember back when you had the opportunity back in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia, you were supposed to be in the undercard, 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 and all of a sudden you're opening our broadcast on The Zone. And I had to run and give you a heads up. It's like, you're up. Yeah. There was absolutely no stress. How do you pull that off? And I'm going to start taking notes. I don't know. I just, um, you know, boxing is what I've done since I was a, a little kid, you know. So for me, um, it's what I want to do every day. Um, boxing is just another day for me um, in, in, the, in the ring, doing what I love to do. And um, that's what makes me happy, you know, just beating people up. <laughs> when exactly does the switch go, go off for you? Because we know that there's this young man walking up to the ring, and once he steps in, 
there is no stopping you. Uh, yeah, you know, um, outside of the ring, you know, I'm, I'm a, a lot of people look at me as a nice guy and a, a, a nice kid. <laughs> but um, yeah, in the ring, you know, it's a completely different story. You know, um, when, when I'm in there, um, of course, you know, I'm a smart fighter. I'm a, uh, I think I'm a really technical fighter. But at the same time, you know, I'm, I always want to take my opponents out. Well, we know that that's exactly what you're looking to do on June 10th against Raul Ortega that comes from Mexicali, Baja California. So we look forward to an outstanding bout with lots of action. And coming from Venezuela, a country that is not really recognized by the pool of boxing, but we have outstanding fighters coming from that country, especially now we have Mayerlin Rivas, who's defending her title. Mayerlin, not very often do we get champs that have to travel out of the country to defend their title. You're taking that chance, why? En general, no, um, Venezuela se conoce por algunos boxeadores muy grandes como, como usted. No es muy a menudo que vemos a campeonas o campeones que tienen que viajar para defender a su título. ¿Cómo, cómo te sientes entrando a la pelea? Y, y, y... Eh, bueno, primero que nada, darle gracias a Dios por, por estar acá y por esta oportunidad que me está dando. Eh, por la oportunidad que me está dando Mashroom, Eddie Hair, de estar acá, de verdad, de pertenecer a esta gran familia. Y bueno, eh, me siento muy, muy contenta de, 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 de defender mi título, bien sea donde sea, en mi país, eh, en otro país. Eh, eh, confío en mi trabajo, en, en, en cada entrenamiento que hago a diario, mañana, tarde. Eh, este, venimos haciendo un gran campamento, vengo desde Venezuela haciendo un gran campamento, terminándolo acá en, en México, Guadalajara, eh, junto a Rigoberto Álvarez, quien es mi entrenador. Y, y, y bueno, darle las gracias de verdad por esta oportunidad. Vamos a dar un gran espectáculo eh, el 10 de junio. First of all, she wants to thank God for the opportunity to be here. Um, and the opportunity is given to her by, by Matt Trim, by Eddie Hearn, and, and she's just grateful to be a part of this family. Um, she's very happy to defend this title wherever she has to defend it, whether it's in her country or in another country. And she's confident in the work that they do in every camp, whether it's day, night, morning, you know, coming from Venezuela, they've, they've had a great camp, and at the end of this camp, she's grateful that she got to join Rigoberto Álvarez um, in Guadalajara. Um, so she's grateful for the opportunity and just excited to be able to show what she's got. It, this is an exciting time for women's boxing across the board. We just had an outstanding evening where we had Amanda Serrano against Katie Taylor, and obviously more women are looking at this as the opportunity to showcase their talent. What did you feel when you saw those two ladies duking it out in Madison Square Garden? Es un, un tiempo muy bueno para, para el boxeo femenino, eh, que acabamos de ver, por ejemplo, la pelea tan grande de Katie Taylor contra Amanda Serrano. Y más y más la, las señoras están buscando la oportunidad de demostrar su talento. ¿Qué sentiste o qué, qué pensaste cuando estabas viendo esa pelea tan grande en Madison Square Garden? Oye, la verdad, este, estoy muy contenta con lo que está haciendo el señor Eddie Hare, eh, dándole una gran importancia al boxeo femenino profesional, que este, de verdad tenemos un estilo único, eh, damos, damos espectáculo al público, que es lo que el público viene a, a ver acá en, en, en los eventos como lo son estos. Y la verdad, eh, me vi, me vi eh, haciendo una pelea de esa magnitud en, en Las Vegas, al verlas a ellas dos ahí, eh, sabiendo que eh, eh, fue una pelea grandísima, de verdad, mi admiración para las dos. Eh, y bueno, eh, espero estar pronto ahí, que es donde me veo eh, en un futuro. She's really, really happy with what Eddie Hearn is doing. Um, you know, he's placing big importance on female boxing, and she thinks that they have a unique style, and it's a great show for the crowd. They put on a great show, um, and that's what the crowd wants to see in, in events like these. Um, she sees herself, she saw herself in them and saw the possibility of herself doing a big fight of that magnitude in Vegas or somewhere like that when she saw them up there, um, and it was such a great fight. She has huge admiration for both of them, and she's hoping to be in there soon in fights of that magnitude. Uh, first up, Karina Fernandez coming from Ciudad Juarez. This is one of three title bouts on June 10th, and we are so thankful to have you here. Thank you for coming and bringing your title. Thank you for always being game. So I look forward to seeing you guys on June 10th. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Gracias. Gracias. Thank you.
rounds for the WBC International Silver Super Featherweight title. This is our second title bout on June 10th. And we have Eduardo Hernandez, 31 and 0, 28 knockouts from Mexico City, facing Jorge Castaño, 15 and 1 and 0, 11 knockouts from Laredo, Texas. Everything is big in Texas. Are we expecting a big night on June 10th? Yes, hello everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Boxing for giving me the opportunity and the platform to, to perform my skills. And yes, we can expect a really good fight. I mean, from me and Eduardo, I mean, we're going to give a you know, a very explosive fight. I mean, he's a comforter fighter, so I'm just ready for, for it. And, and we know how hard hitting and just forward uh, moving are the typical Mexican fighters, and yet you're exposing your title. Uh, this is a huge fight for you. What does it mean to have it in Mexican soil? Um, I mean, it's motivation to me. I mean, I know that I gotta uh, put on a great performance for the people of Guadalajara, so you know, I trained really hard, I had a great camp, and I'm excited, I'm ready. What do you expect this fight to unfold? How do you see it going? Oh, it's an all-out war. I mean, like I say, he used to come for a fighter, he's a pressure fighter, he's strong, but I'm strong too, you know. I got my, I got my pop too, so, you know, it's gonna be a pretty exciting fight. You can, you can expect fireworks. He has twice the amount of fights as you have. What can you say about somebody with that experience? Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, just we just gotta wait and see, you know, that that day of, of the fight. But I mean, like I said, I had a really good training camp, and I'm I'm ready for this fight. I'm excited. I think we all are. Eduardo, coming all the way from Mexico City, a lot of um, gyms, a lot of talent, uh, a lot of uh, opponents, and just having sparring partners across the board is very easy to find talent at this division. What makes, what will it take for you to take this title on June 10th? Eh, eres de Ciudad de México, que donde hay muchos gimnasios, mucho talento, muchos oponentes, rivales para sparring. <coughs> es fácil encontrar talento en esta división ahí en México. City. ¿Qué traes vos al, al ring? ¿Qué trae, su, trae usted? Eh, pues muy contento de estar aquí, antes que todo, agradecido con Dios y eh, con, con Mashun por la, por, la, por la oportunidad de, de estar en esta pelea, en esta función. Eh, efectivamente venimos de la Ciudad de México, muy contento de representar México, pero más, más contento de representar a mi familia, a mi familia Hernández, a mi hija, a, a mi esposa y pues ven, vengo a traer a la mesa un Una gran pelea, va a ser una gran pelea y, y pues a darle. First of all, very happy to be here. I'd like to thank God and Matchroom for the opportunity to be in this fight and on this show. Um, he's coming from Ciudad de Mexico, from Mexico City, and he's very happy to represent Mexico, but he's even happier to represent his family, the Hernandez family, his daughter and his wife. Um, and he's coming, you know, he's, he's going to bring a great fight to the table. He's going to bring a great fight, and yeah, he's going to bring it on Friday. 32 fights in your record. Um, when we compare 32 fights to any other country, that really isn't as much. But when we talk about 32 fights in Mexico, those are like dog years. What, what do you do to stay fresh and to maintain the stamina and the conditioning and the hunger in order to look for this title? Tienes 32 peleas en tu récord, eh, comparados con otras, otros países, a lo mejor eso no es mucho, pero en México son, son largos esos, esos años. Um, ¿qué, ¿Qué haces para quedarte en forma, para quedarte con la estamina que necesitas, con, con la hambre que necesitas para continuar a pelear así? No, pues eh, creo que el, el hambre nunca se va a quitar. Eh, tenemos ese sueño de, de, de llegar a las grandes ligas, a ser campeones mundial. Eh, ahora sí que, el que me, el, los que me, me apoyan para que ese sueño nunca, nunca se quite, esa hambre nunca se, se vaya, es mi papá Ramón Hernández, eh, Héctor Fernández de Córdoba, mi manager. Y hace ocho meses eh, me, me regresaron el doble de hambre por, por salir adelante, que es mi esposa y mi hija. Eh, mi equipo de trabajo que es el que, el que está conmigo, Fabricio Martínez, Brandon Capetillo, Jorge Capetillo 
y pues en especial y, y primordial, por primordialmente es este, Dios que me, dio, que me da la oportunidad de día a día salir adelante. The hunger for him never goes away. Um, his dream is always to be in the big leagues and to become a world champion. Um, you know, the people who support his dream, his dad, Roman Hernandez, Hector Fernandez, his manager, and a few months ago, he got even more motivation. He had a daughter and, and his wife and his daughter support him and are his motivation. Um, and the team that's, that's, that's with him, all of his team, and most of all, God, who gives him the opportunity um, to keep doing this day by day. Icing on the cake. This is an opportunity for a title. What do you need to do to take this title? Esta es una oportunidad para un título. ¿Qué tienes que hacer en esta pelea para conseguir el título? Eh, lo que he hecho en, en todas mis peleas, ir a buscar la victoria. Eh, no, nunca he subestimado a ningún rival. Eh, le tomo la seriedad a todos los rivales con, desde amateur hasta hoy día profesional. Y lo único que tengo que hacer es ir a buscar la victoria, que, que el plan ya está hecho y, y vamos a salir con la mano alto primero Dios. He, it's, it's what he does in every fight. He looks for the win. He never underestimates any opponent. He takes them all seriously. From the amateurs to the pros, he's, he's done it that way. Um, and the only thing that he needs to do is go for the victory. The plan is made and, and he's confident that he'll come out with his hand held high. Eduardo Hernández, Jorge Castañeda for the WBC International Silver Super Featherweight title. Can you please stand in the middle for the face-off? Thank you. title fight is for the WBA Super World Light Flyweight title. Hiroto Kyoguchi joins us all the way from Tokyo, Japan. He's going to be facing Esteban Bermudez de Netahualcoyotl, Mexico. Gracias. Thank you very much. Arigato. Arigato. Uh, this is a fantastic moment, uh, especially because for the first time we have a three-division world champion in Inoue. How does this inspire you to come and defend your title? えっと、まずすごくいい刺激をもらいました。それから今まで無敗だっていうことと。いや、無敗に関してはそこまでですね。やはりタイトルを守るっていうのは、ま、プレッシャーにはありますけど、ま、あの、ま、チャレンジしていくっていう意味では、はい。Undefeated doesn't really give him a do you see this as a rivalry like Mexico once became part of that rivalry against Puerto Rico? The, the rivalry Mexico-Japan, can you see this becoming, knowing the legacies on both countries? Do you see this becoming like one of those outrageous like rivalries we've had, Mexico-Puerto Rico? I see, I see. Eto, Mexico is a very popular boxing country, but I think it's a very popular boxing country. え、メキシコとそれからプエルトリコっていうのがま、ボクシング非常にこうライバルみたいなことがあったんですけど、今日本とメキシコっていうのを同じような感じであの見ますか。そうですね。近年日本人とそうですね、メキシコだったりっていう
Yes, recently, the Japanese and the Mexico, they are like a rival. So he's very looking forward to it, too. Yes, me too. Looking <laughs> forward to it. And Esteban, coming from NESA, uh, a lot of gyms, a lot of talent. And now you have the opportunity to be for a title, finally, in your career. How does this opportunity look for you, coming all the way from NESA to uh, Guadalajara? Vienes, vienes de NESA, eh, donde hay muchos gimnasios, hay mucho talento, eh, y finalmente estás yendo por el título, el, el gran título mundial. Eh, ¿Cómo es viniendo de NESA y todo eso? ¿Cómo te sientes entrando a esta pelea mundial? No, me, me siento muy contento, muy motivado. Este, pues ahora sí que feliz por, por cumplir un sueño, ¿verdad? He's very happy and very motivated, and he's really happy. This is, this is just a dream come true. When, when you have a fighter with um, a shorter career than yours, in, in terms of years of span, not necessarily about boxing record, what does that tell you about your flying hours, your experience, your days in, in and out of the ring? How are you going to use your experience against a world champion? Estás enfrentando a un boxeador que tiene una carrera más corta en términos de los años que está este, estado boxeando. Eh, no necesariamente su récord, pero los años que ha estado boxeando. ¿Qué, ¿Qué quiere decir la experiencia y qué, cómo intentas usar esa experiencia en el ring el, el viernes? Ahora sí que es, pues, echándole ganas. Este, aquí andamos ahora que se nos abrieron las puertas y nos dan la oportunidad. Estoy muy agradecido con el campeón y, y gracias por esta oportunidad que me da. Y ahora sí que es lo, lo único que puedo decir. He is just going to come in and give him give it his all. You know, they're they're getting this door opened for them and he's so grateful to the champion uh, for giving him the opportunity to go against him and that's really all that he can say about the situation. Well, this is our third title bout for the WBC International Silver Super Featherweight and we are so looking forward to this June 10th, live only on The Zone, and thanks to Matchroom Canelo Alvarez in Clase y Talento. Gentlemen, thank you, and may the best man win, and can I have you guys stand in the front so we can do a face-off? 